Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Need for Speed Unbound. This is volume 8 and let me tell you, this is an awesome, awesome update. For the longest time, I've been trying to figure out... Oh, <clears throat> for the longest time, I was trying to figure out what Criterion could really add to this game for Hot Pursuit Mode. Because we've had, for the longest time, cops already in this game. Hell, we've had gauntlet playlists, which are here, meant to, like, completely demolish you if you're a racer. So it's like, what could have they added to really amp up the experience? And they did it. They added a whole cop career mode on top of a hot pursuit playlist type where you get to play as a racer and then when you're done playing as a racer you get to play as a cop and you get to hunt down these racers and much like need for speed 2010 or need for speed hot pursuit 2010 should i say part of the cop career mode you can actually get some power-ups Nope, oh, there he went. <laughs> Let's redeploy there. And one of the cool things, so many cool things going on here, is that... Oh, God. <laughs> one of the cool things is, as a cop, you can redeploy, and I enjoy that actually quite a bit. So if you fall behind a little bit or if you get messed up a little bit, you can say, hey, you know, let's just go up to the next checkpoint there. Cheesy, maybe. Cheating, maybe a little bit. But I think it is a really interesting mechanic. As well as the fact that... <laughs> as well as the fact that as a cop, you get AI cops to help you around. Where they'll have roadblocks that will deploy. They'll have other um, you know, helicopters and other cops. <laughs> but yeah, this is... Uh, this is one of the things I struggled with here, part of these playlists, is that... Sometimes it's a little bit... Uneventful, when it's just you and one other person, because you're just trying to, like... Figure out how to perfectly... Oh god. How to perfectly line up every single shot. So it's like, if you miss one, then it's like, well, better redeploy. He's just taking me out this entire time. And he must have hit a gas station too, so he's already at full health. So this is kind of... This race is kind of a moot point then. Yep. Saw that one coming. Oh well. Alright, now it is our turn to be the racer. It looks like, uh... Immediately straight into a <laughs> SWAT SUV pickup truck. It looks like that our... Uh, the person that's with us is racing as the Cross Corvette, which is highly scary, which I enjoy, actually. But I think... Yeah, this is already pretty mundane as a racer. Just like any... Nope, there we go. I don't know. It seems like um, the damage that was dealt... Jesus Christ! Wow. Okay. So I think when you uh, get higher level cops, um, they increase the damage output because that was... That was nuts. That was absolutely nuts what happened there. Three shots and I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. And we're back in the garage and there's a very good reason for that. As you can tell, something has changed. It's now over here where there's a cop garage. And you look underneath and you've got similar options to the normal garage. We have changing the style. But these here, it's a little bit unfortunate because the customization options of the police cars are much limited. And you get some performance parts, but I mean, it's not like engine or NOS or tires or anything like that, which is odd. 
Um, police pursuit vehicles, we only have one so far. So like I said, it's just very limited for the moment. And the reason being is that you unlock three different cops. So you've got the Land Rover, I believe is number two, number four. Actually, take that back. There are actually quite a few different cops that you can get here. It looks like at least four, and I know the Speed Pass has a uh, Porsche 959, so maybe up to five or six total different uh, police cars. But again, it's when you look at the styles here, I mean, you can't really change the liveries or anything, so it's just a bit sad that you can't customize them as much as you would normally at other car, but I think there's a reason why. So it's just to make sure that the cops stay looking like cops. Of course, you can still adjust stuff like driving effects, tags, and, you know, all that fun stuff. And actually, if we go to body parts, we can still adjust, you know, the grill and the front bumper. So, I mean, there are still some options. But regardless, a little bit a little bit sad that there isn't as much customization options as we've typically experienced with a Need for Speed game. So the cop career, uh, to get our first upgrade to Spike Strip, we need to participate in three Hot Pursuit playlists. So let's jump back into the free roam and get some more of those playlists out of the way. So the thing that I've really appreciated about Criterion is when they do callbacks to previous Need for Speed games, it's in little ways like this. Like we're waiting for the racers here, and this is a callback to Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 where you've got these kind of around the vehicle shots as you're waiting. And I just love these tiny little touches that just really feel like that, you know, for those who played some of these old, old games, it feels like that there's a little bit of appreciation for like, hey, you know, remember this? Oh, nice. Oh, that was a good shot. That took out half his health too, look at that. Okay, maybe I just, no, oh, hi. <laughs> maybe I was just sucking really bad as a cop earlier. Wow. Okay, this guy is already gone. Come on. That's right, I don't need to worry about checkpoints as a cop. Nice. Oh god. <laughs> Let's redeploy. See if we can... That wasn't quite it. I think that was more damage to us than it was to him. Cut on through over here. Oh yeah, again, don't need to worry about that. So let's see if we can catch up with our virtually infinite boost. Let's see if we can go for- no! Damn it. Oh, he's gonna go for the- for the gas station. I hope not. Bummer, there he went. Ah. I don't even know where where other player went. It's a little unfortunate. Come on. Oh. Oh well. Uh, here's their other partner. We're now actually in a head-to-head -head competition with them. So this will be quite the enjoyable experience having multiple racers facing against one cop, but not just one cop, one cop and an army of cops. Thing that I wanted to touch on that I had no idea until this was recently pointed out. So I noticed that EA had made mention that they were pulling developers from Criterion to work on the Battlefield game, which is pretty typical of them. It's They'll work on Need for Speed, and then they'll work on Battlefield, and then we'll go back to Battlefield, and kind of that cycle that they've got going. But, the fact that they pulled developers to Battlefield, and they're still working on updates for Need for Speed, was like, okay, that's pretty interesting. And it turns out, the reason why we've been getting some smaller scale updates, like only like a couple of cars and like a new game mode or something, uh, the reason why they've been like that is because they are easy to program. 
that's because they've only had like five people total working on like year two for unbound which in my mind i thought was crazy for what they've done with just five people i am genuinely staggered so props to criterion for what you guys have been able to pull off here because i am i've got another video in mind that i wanted give my full thoughts when all the volumes are released because it's just the way that this game has changed ever since release and the way that this has become a completely different game looking for its identity to then finally really nailing it again I really want to talk about all that it's because this, this has become an incredible game, especially with this last update. Yes, there are some things like it makes Gauntlet playlists a little bit redundant because you have hopper suits and why would you want to play against like an army of cops when you could also play against an army of cops while being a cop? So it's like Gauntlet playlists are a little bit redundant. They're still there and I still don't mind them. But yeah, just this update has been fantastic for adding the cop career mode to give you some more stuff to do to adding you know hot pursuit playlist where we can play as cops i mean it's just this turned out really well so having i'm not going to say low expectations but having skepticism to then see this um really really awesome stuff so let me know down in the comment section what you guys are thinking. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree or if you guys are, you know, enjoying this update, not enjoying it, just waiting for the next uh, volume. Let me know all what you guys are thinking down below. Again, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got some more stuff coming on up. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.